one thing we know, the software development future will not be the same. AI will change everything. But what if I told you that the development flow of the future is already here? What if artificial intelligence is the leap that will make behavior-driven development widely used? So let's step back. What is BDD? For those new to the concept, behavior-driven development, also known as BDD, is an approach to software development that closes the gap between business people and software developers. The idea is simple. We produce documentation that is checked automatically against the system behavior. In BDD, we will express tests in the form of a user story typically using a structure of given when then, which can be understood by non-technical stakeholders, making communication between teams easier. You may have heard about some BDD tools like Cucumber, Gherkin, Specflow, but in fact they are not widely used. And there's a reason for that in my point of view. The holy grail of BDD is to have business people writing tests. However, they don't do it. So it's up to us software developers to write those tests. And if we need to write those tests, we will obviously do it in the most efficient way using a language that we understand. We'll be using developer language. So the testing specification domain specific language will fall apart purely because the translation from one to the other will not pay off. But what if BDD was invented before of its time? What if, technologically, we are not ready to take advantage of it? We already know that AI will change everything. We don't know how, at least I don't, but we can wonder. With ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, we have seen many adopting AI tools to generate code, tests, and documentation, typically on that hardware. So it's fair to assume that eventually our role as software developers will evolve from heavily coding into guiding an intelligent system. Assuming that that will be true, we need to ask, how will we be prompting that system? What will be the typical development flow? And it's exactly there that I believe that BDD has a chance to shape that future. Imagine developers writing test specifications that are no more than documentation, and then prompting an intelligent system to develop not only the code, but also the automated tests for it. We would take the role of a driver on a pair programming session with an AI agent, where we will be prompting the specification, guiding refactorings, and guiding the solution towards the big picture for the system. And that will fulfill the BDD promise, closing the gap between business and tech. Let me show you how. Let's use GPT-4 to simulate what would eventually be that development cycle. I believe that these type of tools will be embedded inside of our IDEs, like GitHub Copilot, but let's do a simulation. We would prompt our AI system in something like this. I'm saying, okay, let's per program, and I will give you a set of instructions for what should be generated. First, I will tell him that we'll be doing BDD, we will be using Cucumber, that is a framework for behavior-driven development. I explained that I will be writing the specifications and I want him to translate those specifications into code and uh, automated tests. And that specification will be following the Gherkin language. So the given when then structure. I explained that I want a REST API using C-sharp, a given .NET framework. And I may explain things like what type of frameworks do I want? What type of Nougat packages I want him to use, things that in the future those AI systems may not need us to, to prompt them, if they already know our favorite set of tools, for example. Then I will explain, okay, here it goes the first feature. I will give a name to the feature, so it's the products list, and the scenario is to get the, those products, and I will say, using a given when then structure, when we request the product list, then we should receive, and I provide here a table structure that will describe the output of that API. This is the content of a feature specification using BDD. It's something readable that works as documentation. You can exchange this with the business person and they will understand what this is doing. And since I'm prompting into an AI system, I don't need to write that glue code from this given when then to X unit tests. And more important, 
this is following the Gherkin language pattern. So it's the given one then, but now we can start wondering what will be BDD in the future. With these language models, having this structured approach to the specification might be useless. What brings the potential of capturing something that comes on, on a ticket, on an email, copy and pasting into your development tool and just tuning it to make it more clear and it will output the source code and the test to verify the content of that copy paste. But let's see what ChatGPT can do with this. ChatGPT generated the spec flow code necessary to match to that specification that I gave and also the source code needed to do this implementation. Next thing that I will ask him is to generate all the code needed to create the solution and the projects and also install the required Nougat packages, write a single script to create the solution projects and install Nougat packages using .NET CLI. Once I have it, I can move it into my ID of choice and I can start playing around with it. As an example, there's one thing here that I don't like. If I'm doing BDD, I want to look into my system as a black box. For so why not having my set of tests going through the API instead of going directly to a service? For example, I can say that let's rewrite the tests and go through the API using test server. And it does exactly that. And this is the type of process that I imagine. I will write my test specification, then I will be nudging the system to refactor towards the version that I that I believe that is the best. For example, if now I want to move that static data of the product into a database, I can ask him, please refactor by introducing entity framework. I will have a database on top of Postgres or SQL Server, whatever. Are we already there? I don't think so, but we can start practicing it. As you can see on this video right here, where I paired with ChatGPT on the TDD session. But let me ask you a question. Do you think that BDD will find finally become widely used, only time will tell.